Hi, Joy from Joy Quilts. Today I'm quilting this final border on the K Facet Heart Quilt. Started out with uh, computerized quilting on the border, the top border, and then took it off the frame and did free motion in the heart and in the background, two different designs. And now we're putting it back on to finish the actual borders. The computer does a super nice job on borders, especially if they're busy like these ones are. You can use a nice busy thread and get a really nice texture to add it to the quilt. Using Aurifil thread, I like the Aurifil variegated. It's a 50 weight, so it's a normal weight thread. You don't have to mess too much with your bobbin or your needles. I use a 80 SDK needle, which is the ballpoint jersey. This is the high speed of the machine. It tends to separate the fibers rather than cutting through them, which gives you less thread breakage and a lot less headache with your thread. Probably the most difficult border on the quilt to do because you have to roll the entire quilt up on the, on the back rail to try and get it even and it does tend to move a little bit and as in the quilting process the quilt of course moves a little bit and it's not going to be 100% straight. It's kind of why I chose a nice circular design so that it will cover all the areas that are kind of empty in an even kind of fashion. I like to balance the quilting whenever possible. This is one of our designs that we purchased. It's called Curls and Hearts. We had a six pattern repeat and then um, just kind of stretched and skewed it to fit in our area. The trick is to do a minimal amount of stretching and skewing because you want it to balance with the side borders, which of course are shorter on a rectangular quilt. And for that one we used five pattern repeats. This one worked out really well. It was maybe 1% we had to stretch it, so that's really nothing. It's about 94 inches long this border and about 9.2 inches deep. Because it's such a busy fabric, it's nice to do something like this that has a lot of movement in it and a lot of circular movement because there are a lot of circles in the back of the fabric. When we try to match a quilt to the fabric, it's, it's really nice to be able to see something like this that turns out really well. It's a good match. This is a rectangular design. So when we brought it in, um, I just took it and flipped it upside down for this border because this is a side border. We left the top and the bottom the way they were orientated because there's a definite top and bottom to the quilt, as you can see. Sort of see by the backing, it's directional. With the two sides, we flipped this side in so that the um, hearts and, and curls will balance the mirror image of each other on the two sides of the quilt. Quilting the borders by the digital quilting is awesome because it keeps the quilt nice and square. Sometimes if you're quilting a border free motion, you don't quite get the same line. It tends to, you know, if you have a little wobble or wow, and it kind of will go out of proportion a little bit. But doing it this way, you have it perfectly stretched on the frame. Measure the distance from the dead bar, as well as from edge to edge, and it, uh, Helps to balance the pattern and that enables you to do a larger pattern and have it balanced from left to right and top to bottom. Digital quilting heart and loops on the final border of the Cape Acid Heart Quilt. Thanks, have a great day.